All right, welcome back. Um, we've done a fair bit of carving on this now. Uh, we've got to a point where we're ready to put the eyes in. Uh, I've just put some sanding sealer on, that's just about dry. Um, and I'm going to test some um, some stain because I want to stain this if I can. It's um, it's going to be uh, black and tan like a, a Rottweiler should be. Um, we're going to test the uh, the stain on a bit of scrap um, before we do anything. So this one's rubbing down a bit after the sanding seal has uh, dried. Um, we've just drilled some holes in there for uh, for the eyes, and um, what we're going to use are these are. Uh, Five milli glass eyes. So I'm going to cut a little bit of, uh, I'm going to leave a bit of this wire on here so that goes into the hole. And um, then what we'll do is use a little bit of uh, araldite and uh, drop that in there. Um, the other thing I do need to do is go and get some blue tack because um, it can be quite difficult to handle these sometimes. And I'm thinking, if I have a little stick with a bit of blue tech on, I can uh, grip that on the the gloss side of the eye, and drop that into the hole without uh, too much of a problem. Um, so we'll go indoors and get some blue tech if we can find it, and get everything set up. Um, <clears throat> I've missed out. Uh, uh, taking this uh, neck down because you don't really need to see that. All I've done is um, got the shank, fitted them together, marked them up, and I know basically uh, the diameter of uh, that uh, that neck. Now I might be chopping a bit off this. What I want to do first uh, before I decide is uh, I need to put the lettering on and see how far down the lettering goes. Remember, I've got 29 characters to put on this in a spiral. That's what the customer wants. So I don't want this to be too long, because uh, I don't think it'll look right. But um, let's say um, if we uh, see how far the um, the lettering goes down, then we can uh, take a bit of this uh, neck off. Um, it's not too bad, but it's too long for me, I think. So that's the next job. I'm just going to sand this down, and then um, I'm going to test a bit of um, stain, and we'll come right back. Right, we put the eyes in uh, with epoxy like uh, we've mentioned in previous uh, videos so we don't get uh, this uh, misting over the, um, the glass uh, from the uh, super glue. Um, we've just used straightforward stains to do the colouring. Um, around the, the muzzle here uh, well, we might have had a bit too much black. This is water-based, so we've used some uh, water on the tissue and tried to sort of remove that, smooth the black out, and basically sort of uh, get things blended in, as you'd see in uh, in, a, in a normal animal. wasn't sure what's, what what to to do with the cap, so I've just used a <coughs> what is it um, a light teak for the cap, and I think that complements the uh, the dog quite well. So what we're going to do now is sort of the um, the lettering out and uh, glue everything up. Um, needs a spray. Uh, I'm going to let this dry off now and um, we'll see where we go from there. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hi, welcome back. Uh, we've moved on a bit with this um, Rottweiler, not the Doberman, Rottweiler. So um, what we've done now, we've been in touch with the uh, the customer and said, well, we don't think this business of 29 characters coming down the neck is going to work because the characters are going to be quite small, they're going to be quite difficult to do nicely by hand, well, at least for me. So um, we've shortened the, um, the neck and uh, we've changed the shank. We've gone from the apple, uh, crab apple, to uh, a stripped uh, ash and um, it looks rather nice on there. So. We're going to do this, um, these 29 characters on this shank and I thought we'd just show you what we've done and how we're going to do it because he wants it going down and you can see it starts with Gus and it goes down and carries on with um, the, uh, the rest of um, his dogs. So you've got Zach, Oscar, um, Meg and Dave. So 
we've done it on a strip of paper, um, cut some carbon and just scroll it round, pencil that in by hand and uh, now's a moment of truth, we'll see uh, what it looks like. Um, and what you have to do, part of the thing you have to do is, as you take this on, you need to take the, the bottom of these strips as well, because you find that the paper moves as you're trying to um, copy. So I'll just put this to one side. So, it's a bit faint, but it's probably enough for, uh, for me to work on. So what I'm going to try and do is do this um, with ink. Uh, I'm not going to try and carve it. I really don't think carving will be a good idea. Uh, the only problem is we've got a lot of um, carbon which has uh, ended up on the paper. Oh, I'm sorry, on the on the shank because um, trying to um, do a strip and then wrap two bits of material round, you find that uh, quite often the spile doesn't quite work. So I've got to make the carbon wider than the, uh, the paper. So we're going to try a bit of uh, ink, see how that works and we'll come back to you. Right, well that's the first part of this uh, spiral. Um, again, I'm not sure how well you can see it in this line, this might be a bit better. So, we've got Gus at the top and then all the names scroll around, we've got another strip to do. Um, it's a little bit awkward, it's done with ink, it's done freehand, well just covering, just following the um, carbon paper. One of these little pens, uh, V5 High Tech. This has been running out so I've, <laughs> I've been struggling a bit, sometimes it'll flow, sometimes it won't. So I'm going to have to go out and buy uh, some more of those as a backup. Um, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm going to let this um, flash over. And what I might do is just mask this area off and just give that a bit of a spray just to protect it because I have actually um, just smudged a little bit here. Uh, you can't really tell. I know it's uh, been done. It's when you work working, you're working along, um, so it's a bit difficult. Um, I didn't want to start from that end because I didn't want to disturb my carbon, and the carbon was only thin. So uh, we shall see. So uh, that's it for now, and uh, we'll be back when we start the uh, the next part. Thanks very much. Bye bye.